Hi fourth graders and welcome to Math Workshop. Today we're going to be working with areas of rectangles with fractional side lengths. Today you will apply area and perimeter formulas for rectangles to real world mathematical problems. You will use your understanding of how to multiply a fraction by a whole number and how to add and subtract mixed numbers. So let's check out the math message. Between what two whole numbers does the area measure of rectangle ABCD lie? Area. Area is the amount of surface inside a closed boundary. Area is measured in square units, such as square inches or square centimeters. The formula area equals length times width, where A stands for the area of the rectangle, L stands for the length, and W stands for the width can be used to find the area of any rectangle. First, let's think about what the question is asking of us. It's asking between what two whole numbers does the area measure of rectangle ABCD lie. So I looked at my rectangle and I looked at the measurements. I know that 7 eighths of an inch is the width, 4 inches is the length, and I also know that the formula for area is area equals length times width. I'm a visual learner, so the first thing I noticed was when I saw the fraction 7 eighths of an inch, instead of getting nervous about it, I immediately envisioned 7 eighths on a ruler. And that tells me that 7 eighths is a little bit less than 1. So 4 times 1 equals 4. So the area must be a little bit less than 4 square inches. We can also use the area formula to find the other whole number that the area measure of rectangle ABCD lies between. 7 eighths of an inch is also a little bit more than 6 eighths. So if I multiplied 6 eighths times 4, I would get 24 eighths, which I can reduce to the number 3. So the area must be a little bit more than 3 square inches. So the solution is the area of the rectangle is between 3 and 4 inches. three and four square inches. Additional questions. What is the perimeter? Name the pairs of perpendicular line segments. Name pairs of parallel line segments. How many lines of symmetry are there? Let's start with number one. Perimeter. Whenever I think about perimeter, I envision a fence. Perimeter is the measurements that are outside an object. The formula for perimeter is 2L plus 2w, which is the same as perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. So let's find the perimeter of the rectangle. As you know, in a rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent or equal. So if this side, dc, is 7 eighths of an inch, then ab is also 7 eighths of an inch. And if this side is 4 inches, then the opposite side is also 4 inches. So Perimeter equals 4 plus 4 plus 7 eighths plus 7 eighths. 4 plus 4 is 8, and 7 plus 7 is 14, so we get 14 eighths. But that's an improper fraction. How many times can 8 go into 14? Well, 8 times 1 is 8, so I know it can go in there one time. And 8 times 2 is 16, which is way too much. So we're going to subtract one whole, or 8 eighths, to reduce this fraction. Now we're going to add 8 plus 1, which gives us 9, and then we're going to add 6 eighths. So the perimeter of this shape is 9 and 6 eighths. Perpendicular line segments. Perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. The perpendicular line segments within this shape are AB and AD, AB and BC, AD and DC, and BC and CD. Let's look at the next question. Parallel line segments. Parallel lines stay the same distance apart and they never ever cross. The parallel line segments within the shape are AB and DC, and AD and BC. Lines of symmetry. We know that there are two lines of symmetry in this shape. First, up and down or vertically, and then another one horizontally. 
Next steps. Now, go back to Google Classroom and start Thursday's math work. If you need a refresher, you can always watch today's video again. Good luck!